Murray, your thoughts on last night's loss? I actually want to thank the Bruins for that performance. I really do, because it totally grounded me after feeling way too positive about them based on the way that they played for the last week and a half, two weeks. You know, those games against Carolina down there, the Florida game Saturday, I was like, okay, this is a little interesting. And then after that complete no-show last night and Jeremy Swayman playing like a complete a-hole, by the way, they were lucky to be scoreless after one. I left that feeling like, nah, I still expect them to tear my heart out come the postseason. They're still a-holes. You know how many I, shots the Bruins had after two periods last night? Oh, was it something like nine? Ten. Ten shots after two periods. I thought they got freaking schooled. One guy showed up, Charlie McAvoy. And I can't, I, I wonder if after the game he like, if we if we heard or I saw tweets from anyone that covers the team that he like ripped them a new aol collectively in the locker room, that would have been justified. He was the only player for the Bruins last night that I felt like actually showed out. I mean, Carolina clearly came out and said, All right, you guys had the better of us over the weekend. We're going to crank it up. We're going to go to a higher level. We're going to challenge every uh, puck, and we are going to squeeze you so hard you're going to suffocate. And that's what happened, I think. That's the way they play. I mean, you and know, they usually school you because of it. Yeah, like I think that to me was like Murray said that was a reality check. Oh, oh, that that's how well you have to play to win the cup. Oh, never mind. <laughs> like that's how I felt, and and I thought you know again it started with Swayman. The Bruins knocked more pucks in their own net than they did the freaking Carolina net last. Started week. with Swayman. It was all of them, but I, I I don't know if it started with Swayman, but that's where I start. You know that. Well, I don't know if it was the first or second, I want to put an air quote, shot of the game, that little flip from the side of the net that was originally called a goal that they went back and replayed and that it didn't cross the line. Do you see this? I yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mass. He's lucky he didn't give up six last he night. Gave, he, there were three plays in the first. It should have been three nothing behind in the first period. There was a, a little nothing, again, I say in air quote, shot. I don't know if it's uh, online. They may not have made the, the highlight pack. The... Uh, and they originally called it a goal, and they replayed it. And thankfully, by the hair, by just by a hair, it did not cross the goal line, and so they took it off the board. But it would have been one of those side angle nothing shots that went in. Then he tried to clear the puck behind the net, put it right on Carolina's stick, got got away with that one. Another shot hit the crossbar after Brandon Carlo puked himself. It should have been three nothing. They had Carolina had four shots in the first period. It should have been three nothing. Uh, and so Swayman had his head up his ass the entire game, I thought. But when the I think the Bruins had again, I the I, it was the shots were four to four after one period. Yeah, right. It was really low because that's how Carolina plays. Uh, but you weren't ready to go from the start, starting with the goalie. And if you just want to hit on the goalie, it's like it's another indication that I, Swayman had started to play better the last week or two. Allmark's been the far more consistent, steady guy since the I don't know if you want to call it the trade deadline. And he's the guy right now, which is unfortunate because I was ready for the I was ready for the other guy, but I guess he's not ready for it. But uh, th- that's why Carolina. That's why you're such a bad match against Carolina because they they just pressure the puck so hard, and you're so bad under pressure. They challenge everything, and that's it. That's it in a nutshell, right there. Do you ever remember a shorthanded goal happening that quickly? No, like that one. <laughs> okay, so the, and I think you had the offensive zone face off. Yeah, went around the boards and out the other end. Boom. <laughs> I blinked. I was like, what the F just happened? <laughs> okay, so there's that. Uh, so I got two side points on you. I think they should change the rule on what's a goal. Like, it, the way it is, it has to completely cross. It has to complete. There has to be white. You have to see white between the goal line and the puck. Yep. Yeah. If you Have you called it up yet? Like, that thing should have been a goal. I know it's not. I know the rule. I know by the letter of the law, the the circumference, the full circumference of the puck did not Fully cross the goal line. You've got to be able to see white. You've got to see some ice between the puck and the goal line. No, but it looked like 82% of the puck was over it. I felt like 98.5% uh. of the puck was over it. And it's like, that's a goal. I mean, I know it's not, but le- spirit of the game, that's a goal. I Should they change that? Hmm. And if you do it, how do you do it? If just if 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 the if is it like a touchdown where if the nose of the ball just crosses any the, piece of the, the puck gets over the red line, any piece of the puck, I'll give you half a puck. Hits any piece. Well, that's gonna be hard to figure <laughs> out. Any piece of the puck hits any piece of the goal line. It's a goal. <laughs> if the 50, the 50 thing, I'm gonna be sitting there forever trying to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, I think it was forty eight percent, Felga. <laughs> like, do you move the like? How about this? You move the goal line back a little bit. 
And then any part of the puck that hits the goal line is a goal. Oh, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? How'd you come up with that one? Because I, I was starting to think about it. Because last night, I'm like, that's a goal. That's so lucky that that's not a goal. That's ridiculous that that's not. It's, it got behind him. It went over the line. It's just by the by the slimmest of margins, it just still maybe. And I don't even think they had a great view of it that I saw. That it just didn't. Like, that's cheesy. That's a goal. Swayman deserved to have that go against him because that was such a bad play. All right, so that's one thing. Oh, that should be a goal. Right? right? I yeah. agree. I just saw it right now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so like, I'm, I'm surprised that wasn't. Oh, here it is right there. Oh, that's cool. Like, like, they, like they should have put that in the game recap, but they didn't, uh, I guess. But either way, like that's just one thing that occurred to me. That's a goal. All right. Then the second thing. The lacrosse goal, which they call the Michigan goal because the first kid to do it played for Michigan. I forget his name. I know why you're bringing this up. Go ahead. Like, it's totally legal. Should it be? No. No. Because it's like... Because this isn't Irish curling. This isn't lacrosse. It's like palming the ball in basketball. For lack, That's the only way I can describe it. You're kind of carrying it. Like, to me... It, it, so what? It, so you could pick the puck up in theory in your own zone, skate all the way down the ice and yes. hold it on your stick and yes. Down, yes. no one could ever touch it. Yes, like it's Harry Potter. No. Right. What, what, what's that game called? Quid- oh, Quidditch. Quidditch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, what is it? What am I watching? Like, no, but it's, it's kind of a bang-bang play. It's not like he carries it you know, into the zone and then it's does... It's brilliant. The, yeah. I, I've seen guys do it on shootouts. Uh, I don't know if I've seen it at the NHL level, but it's existed. Kevin, have you seen this? Like guys at the shootout do it? It's like the younger kids in the levels that they, they do like they get on the stick and then they like spin and let it go. Okay, so there's like yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm not disputing the skill of it. Oh, it's insane. Should I get on the Bruins for it? Yeah. If like, you give that up, you're an a hole. If if you give a player enough time and space to do that, that's on you. Like so, like I'm 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 workshopping this. That one was pretty quick last night. I don't know exactly how to feel about it. And I'm not just doing this because it was a, you know, they scored on the Bruins. Like, I don't care. But, like, the, trust me, that's not where I'm coming from. But it's like, that's not really in the spirit of the game either. Like, it, this isn't lacrosse. This isn't Quidditch. You know, you couldn't see it I in real Irish time. Irish curling. They do that in Irish curling, too, don't they? I think Probably so, yeah. Probably high lie. Something yeah. like that. Like, this ain't high lie. It's hockey. I mean, the level of skill, like you're saying, it takes to pull that off and how bang, bang it was. Because you didn't see it in real time. Toronto had to look at it. And then when they showed the replay, I was like, oh, well, like, that's wild. Let that stand. I have this, no problem with that. In the that. same breath, I'll say it's like, how many goals are you going to allow from a guy, a guy from behind the net? You know, it should have been three, either at, at behind the yeah, net yeah. or the side of the net. Like, God, Swayman sucked. But then again, that's a pretty special play. Then again, should that even be legal? No. I say no again. I and again. I say I, yes. I, I like it. I'm not disputing the skill of it. Okay, like the, it's insane. Svechnikov. At, at times you look at him, he's fabulous. But that, aside from that, like you, you know, it was so fast. Like I know it's skilled. There was no one around him. So what? Can you? So should he be able to pick up the puck and whip it in there too? Throw it by hand? No, there are rules against hand passes and hand play. You, know, you can't hand. You can't fist. <laughs> no fisting. <laughs> like you can't do that. I Maybe think you can't play- fist. You can't do it with an open hand. Whatever. The rule's on the books. For I would take it out. I don't like it. I don't know why uh, someone just doesn't put it on their stick on the shootout immediately and just go the whole distance with it on your stick and shove it right <laughs> into the corner. Like a slingshot. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I But then when I've said that, I think I've seen things like where they do kind of do it. There is a thing where they do it. I mean, these guys are so good now, they can do this more often. And we're, you see it you know, every so often. But not at the NHL level, I feel like. Like, that to me last night felt like an anomaly. How many ta- how many goals a year do you think they have scored in the league doing that? Every year? In the NHL? In the league. Uh, yeah. Four? Yeah, one or two. Oh, I bet you it's higher than that. In hockey? Like, it happens college Collegiate level, college. yeah. Yeah, that was... I, I would disallow it. I mean, I would up, outlaw it. Not allowed anymore. Illegal, like a fa- like a curved stick. <laughs> you know, like I, in fact, I, I I'd go so far as to give you a penalty for it. All right, so I, we're, I'm, I'm <laughs> workshopping it. I don't know if I totally, I don't know who to blame. I want to blame Swayman, the guy's behind the net. You shouldn't score behind the net, if, if no matter where he puts it, no matter how he shovels the puck in there. All you had to do was get it close to the net last night, and the Bruins would knock it in for you. <laughs> And then again, if you give up enough time and space for a guy to be able to do that, then that's on you, I think. But then again, that's not exactly how they drew it up. Whoever invented the freaking sport, that's not what they intended. 
Exactly. And that's a new thing. So I go back and forth on that. The first thing against that first the one that uh, that should be a goal. They got to figure out the goal line thing. That should be a goal. That's a goal. They, Swayman deserved to get that a go against him. That was so bad. What a lucky break that. That was two minutes in. That's why I missed it. You see, I don't get home until uh, after seven. I understand. Now. I understand. You know, so I didn't go back to watch the very early no, part no. of the game. Blink, and you would have missed how badly the Bruins sucked from the opening faceoff last night. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Felger and Maz here. For more Bruins analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.